I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. Are you a victim of the inferior American social support system? Uh, I need some whiskey. Sober up, sir. I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruined my life. Wake up, sir. I have to go. Sleep well. Wrestle Trail to Thimbleweed Park, 1.7 miles. I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. Step three of the note. Now for step four. So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes, sit back and learn, and I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. Body starting to pixelate. This is going to be a long night. It's an instant camera, but there's no film in it. It's a sample package of Polaroid film. It only contains one photo.
like I don't have enough to carry already. Smile. Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. It's covered by the underbrush, but it's an old abandoned chainsaw. It's an empty whiskey bottle. Signals are very strong tonight. Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there! But remember, signals are very strong tonight. Why brothers? If you're sisters. Dad was expecting to have sons, and he was too cheap to have the van repainted. So we're just rolling with it till he's dead. Oh, soon. Shut up, Emily. The signals are very strong tonight. What signals? The signals. The signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already said that. But what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night, deserted road, me in a giant pigeon costume, it was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight, very strong. I think I've had enough of you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you too. Eek! Beep! Whack! Was. Beep. Was. Eek. Was.
Wait for me. It says, need help playing Thimbleweed Park. Call the fully automated Hintron 3000 at 4468. How about a hint on me getting out of this crazy town? It's a cell phone. Howdy, I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. Uh, that's what you are, feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> Cut the Mayberry crap. We're taking over this case. Whoa! Hold your horse Reno's. No need to get snippy. Looks like you heard about our little murder Reno out by the bridge, huh? There is nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is starting to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at 8. I hope he's talking about on TV. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Reno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slickerinos do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people arenos? I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. Howdy who, I'm the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. Welcome to the future who. Oh, these are the latest in crime fighting computers made by Pillowtronics Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. <laughs> I love your sarcastic humor, who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain, who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Arino, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match a who. Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Or, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Areno? <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You who city Volca who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. Aren't you the Sheriff Areno? Oh, my, no. Ha <laughs> ha, no, 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 who? Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as peas of who's in a pot of who. Plus, the sheriff has that annoying areno he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that, who? Sure, whatever. Did you use these computers to investigate the pillow factory fire? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt a who about it.
Could the computers have been wrong about the fire? Not these computers. Oh, the state of the art of who computers made by Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Isn't there a conflict of interest with Pillowtronics and the fire? Whoa, now! Pillowtronics and its founder, Chuck, are above reproach. Chuck built this town and was a computer and pillow genius. Are the feds uh, looking into this case? It was solved uh, 20 years ago. No, he's just curious. He's a pillow factory fire buff. He's got a CompuServe chat room and everything. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> hey, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, who? Oh, yeah, almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. I hate this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. Lots of medical books there. Insert two photos of an individual and the Facetron 3000 will verify a positive match and print out a report. Fully voice activated. Stop reading and start talking. It's empty. It's empty. There's a fingerprint kit here. It's empty. <laughs> Thanks. Hello again, Agent Arenos. Hopefully the coroner fills you in on our state-of-the-art Areno computers. You... I mean, the coroner said something about the Arrestron? Yes, the Arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized Areno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction of Reno. Every detail of Reno analyzed and verified by computer. Moving on. Right. Uh, sorry, Reno. I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy of Reno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this, and it issues a 100% Reno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer a Reno. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Chuck who? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery, a Reno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run a Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Areno again. Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. 
You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. Just a bunch of files. There's a fingerprint book here. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. Just a, just a bunch of files. I don't want to waste the powder on that. I need to dust the murder weapon. There's a fingerprint brush, a small amount of fingerprint powder, but it's missing the fingerprint tape. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. What caused the leak? Well, the Hydratron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. It says, we're out of the old abandoned pillow factory. Back soon. Safely for our savings manager, Mr. El Paulo. Welcome to the S&D Diner. Hey, just so you know, that article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. So, what can I do for you, honey? What's up with the sheriff? He's kind of weird of Reno. Yeah, he's kind of a nut job, but nothing compared to the coroner. This whole town has gotten downright weird in the last few years. Cuckooville. The coroner and the sheriff are the same person. Well, there might be some resemblance around the eyes, but that's about it. The sheriff does this annoying a Reno thing, and the coroner does an annoying a who. It pretty much proves they're not the same person. How does speech prove they are not the same person? You're asking a lot of questions that probably shouldn't be asked. I'm a federal agent. That's my job. I've said too much already. What's up with this town? Most of the stores are abandoned. Used to be the center of culture in the Tri-County area. Parties every night at the hotel. Celebrities visit the Edmund Mansion mansion. It was hard to not make money in those days. Of course, 
This is before my time. And since the pillow factory burnt down, the town is drying up faster than Dave's sex drive. Ain't that right, Dave? I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the dead body? Not too much, just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into trouble, especially with a crazy person like him. You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave. Don't screw with the feds. Tell us what you know. Okay, honey. But you didn't hear this from me. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I really got Johnny good, that little jackwad. It's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup and clown nose, and find my joke book. What the hell is this? The number of trophies I have. Hmm. The number of trophies I Hmm. The number of trophies I have. The number of clouds in Carney Joe's shooting gallery squared. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. It's my lawyer's business card. It's an IOU. I, Carney Joe, loan ransom the clown $1,000 and will hold his joke book hostage until I get paid. It's a prototype rants. This nose is perfectly modeled after my own. It's just too big for the doll's face. This nose is per This nose is perfectly modeled after my own. It's just too big for the doll's face. My circus poster featuring the amazing Ransom the Clown. I can't pick up something I... It's my locked safe where I keep all my money. The number of trophies I have. The number of clouds in Carney Joe's shooting gallery squared. The number of hits that Carney Joe has. Hmm. The number of trophies I have. The number of clouds in Carney Joe's shooting gallery squared. The number of kids that Carney Joe has.
Ransom, I'm glad I caught you before you went on stage. Autographs are a hundred bucks. Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer. I don't want your autograph. Okay, 50 then. I just wanted to let you know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen. And your private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. Also, we have a deal worth millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Did he get the liability clause waived? Correct. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. Good. Toddlers start out as... It's not my fault they end up that way. Okay, fine. 25 bucks. I should have been a dentist. You! Yourself. Go yourself. You go yourself. Grandson, you idiot. Why did you push me? Oh, hey, you owe five bucks to my swear jar. I can't get up. Grandson, you're a total. I'll steal your clown nose again. That's what I'll do. I think my stilts are broken! I think my stilts are broken! Ransom, you're a total... Ransom, you jerk! Ransom, you're a total... Ransom, you're a total... I'll steal your clown nose again, that's what I'll do! I'll steal your clown nose again, that's what I'll do! I think my stilts are broken! I think my stilts are broken! Ransom, you jerk! I don't have time to leave the circus. I have to get ready for my act. I'll get you, Ransom the Clown! Ransom, you jerk! Ransom, you... It's my Ransom the Clown swear jar with 138 bucks in it. My contract states that I'm the only one who's allowed to swear. Anyone else caught swearing has to pay up. I'll just take the big bucks. It's my special custom-made clown makeup. I am tired of putting it on every night. Sure as wish there were a more permanent variety. Now there's the face I love. This goop keeps my clown fro erect. Can't have a limp clown fro or anything else. Ooh, my clown fro looks great now. Ouch, that's tight, but it'll have to do. Glad I only have to wear it for a couple of hours. I can't go on stage without my joke book. I might forget my best lines without it. Today. Grand prize? You got my money, clowny? That's Ransom the Clown, asswipe. Okay, you got my money, Ransom the asswipe clown? One thousand clams and you're not getting your joke book back. It serves you right for playing the duckies. the old ball and chain and kids, huh? My wife's doing fine, no thanks to you. And so are the nine kids. But they still cry themselves to sleep every night after that stare you gave them. I 
have your money. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, here's your money. Now where's my junk buck? Ah, uh, wait, are you messing with me? That's only 138 bucks in interest. Where'd the grand you owe me? Yeah, uh, thought you'd settle for less. Uh, beggars can't be choosers. Oh, yeah? Well, I choose to hang on to your joke book till I get the full 1138 bucks. Now, beggar off. Uh, step right up. Lots of prizes. Handsome, you're a total... It's my locked safe where I keep all it's my... It's my locked safe where I keep all my money. Let's see if I can remember this combination. Okay, now. And finally... Well, that didn't work. Handsome, you're a total... I'll steal your clown nose again, that's what I'll do! <laughs> Shoot the birdie! Hmm. The number of trophies I have. The number of clouds in Carney Joe's shooting gallery squared. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Step right this way! Hmm. The number of trophies I have. The number of clouds in Carney Joe's shooting gallery squared. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Hmm. The number of trophies I have. The number of clouds in Carney Joe's shooting gallery squared. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. What surprises? Handsome, you're right. It's my locked safe where I keep all my money. Let's see if I can remember this combination. Okay, now. And finally... I give up. Well, that didn't work. Hmm. The number of trophies I have. The number of clouds in Carney Joe's shooting gallery squared. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. It's my locked safe where I keep all my money. Let's see if I can remember this combination. I give up. Well, that the meanest clown of 1977 and 1978. Ransom the clown. Let's see if I can remember this combination.
Okay, now. And finally... Well, that didn't work. Let's see if I can remember this combination. Okay, now. And finally... Well, that didn't work. Let's see if I can remember this combination. Okay, now. And finally... Tough! Da! Next time, I'm setting it to one, two, three. That's a, that's a load of moolah. Ransom, you jerk! Ransom, you're a total... I think my skills are broken! Hey, take a shot at the target. You got my money, Ransom, the asswipe clown? I have your money. A thousand bucks plus interest. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, well, not much choice. Now where's my joke book? Yeah, the jokes all suck. So how'd you get to be so famous with jokes like these? Yeah? What do you know about being funny? Uh, about as much as you do, which is nothing. Now scram, clowny. You're scaring the customers. Yeah, shoot the pussycat. Hello, faces. I'm Ransom the insult clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily, and if you do, it's your own fault for not being able to take a joke. You guys love that pillow factory. It's the lamest claim to fame a town has ever had. Paris has the Eiffel Tower, New York has the Statue of Liberty, and Thimbleweed Park has a pillow factory. You better hope to God that feather pillows never go out of style. I was amazed you weren't a bunch of fatzos. What with all this bottomless foie gras and champagne you have at the parties here. Then I ate at your diner. Their food is a better purgative than Ipecac. Hey you, kid with a crappy wheelchair. Were you in a past life or something? Seriously, kid, you're in a wheelchair, and you got a face that looks like that? God's definitely punishing you for something. Hey you, lady with a huge nose. I say lady, but your beak suggests you're a toucan. You shouldn't have bought tickets for the show tonight, toots. You should be saving your money for a rhinoplasty. Hey, you! Dude with the stupid mustache! You think you look like Magnum P.I.? A 70s porn star called. He wants his mustache back. Hey, you! Kid with the ugly shirt! Are you colorblind? Your shirt is about to give me a seizure! I mean, I'm a clown, and even I wouldn't touch something that garish. Hey, you! Ugly old lady with the hairy mole! Or is it your parasitic twin? Whatever it is, I hope you bought a separate ticket. Because if it's big enough to ride the roller coaster by itself, it's not freeloading in my audience. You will be forever sorry for what you've just said. I curse you to never be able to remove your makeup and to roam these circus grounds until the end of time.
He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. Some people laughed because they thought it was funny, but most laughed because they were uncomfortable, and laughing is the best way to hide from the embarrassment of others. But after the show, in his dressing room, there wasn't going to be any laughter. Ha! I killed tonight! One of my best shows ever! I hope that ugly old lady with a curse breaks a hip on the way home. Now to get this makeup off, hop on my private jet, and go see my mistress, Cindy in Aspen. Yeah. What the? This makeup isn't coming off. The you, old lady. You up the? You. Come on. As much as he tried, his makeup wouldn't come off. That old lady wasn't just any old lady. She was Madame Morena, mistress of the dark arts. When she curses you, it's not an empty threat. Something Ransom was just now finding out. This makeup of that old... My lady! Ransom, I've got some bad news. What do you want, you bald, greedy little... Can't you see I'm having a problem? Grab a tissue and some rubbing alcohol and help me, you... Your private jet crashed while trying to land. Your wife found out about your mistress, and she's taking everything you own except the house in Aspen. There was a fire in Aspen, and your house burned to the ground. The toy and doll licensing deal is dead, and they're suing you for breach. And one more thing. I quit. What? And go beep yourself. And that's why Ransom the Clown is such a creep. And you should go arrest him for murder. That's an interesting story. We'll go check up on him. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. Don't touch our Wrenchtron 3000. Only someone like me with the proper training can handle it. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. Can I do anything to help? Well, the Hydratron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. Looks awful. Not like the New York dogs I'm used to. I'll have one of these hot dogs. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move them out. Let me get that for you. Eat up, hun, while it's still hot. Oh my, that is 
the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I, uh, gotta go. <laughs> <sighs> I feel better now. That looks like Reyes's notebook. I hope he went back to the home office. Pretty disgusting. It's a dime just lying there. It's out of order. The coin slot is filled with glue, the buttons are missing, and the cord to the receiver is cut. Otherwise, it looks fine. where we can talk. Alrighty now. I can't quite put my finger on it, but this place stinks of false advertising. Sorry about that, hon. This used to be Ricky's Cakes, but now we sell vacuum tubes. What an exciting life you lead. Anyway, I'm Special Agent Ray. I have some questions for you. Oh, pleased to meet you. I'm Ricky Lee, and I'm the proprietor of this little store. What can I do for you, hon? Since you don't sell cakes anymore, what's your store called now? Not really sure. I've been bouncing a few ideas around since the pivot. I don't suppose you have any suggestions. YouTube. Oh, that's a great name. I'm so lucky you wandered in today. The kindness of strangers is amazing. If you get rich, you owe me a cut. I'm looking for a tube. For a friend, not me. We have lots of tubes here. Over 3,000 different makes and models. Do you know the two-letter model identifier? What is the make number? Oh, did one of the Hydratron tubes burn out again? Uh, yes. The Pigeon Sisters need one right away. Okay, I'll put it on the town's account. I'll get one for you, hun. You just wait right there. I'll be back before you know it. Here you go. Give the Pigeons my regards.
Here's your WC67 tube. Thank you. Oh, fixed. Here's our card in case you need any more plumbing help. We'll just clean up here and be gone soon. Hello, Reno. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is uh, uh, quite annoying. No, sir. Yes, sir. They have been taken care of. Yes, sir. Permanently. Oh, yes, sir. Violently. No, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, wrestling was quite good tonight. Goodbye, sir. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Hi there. I'm Quickie Pal Leonard. How can I help you? I'm Special Agent Ray. Uh, I'm not holding if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> so, what's your deal, Leonard? Dude, how do you know my name? Are you, like, telepathic or something? No, you just told me your name, and it's also on your name tag. Do you like your job here at the Quickie Pal? Heck yeah! I got a freaking sweet deal here, with free coffee and minimum wage. Plus, I don't get many customers on the late shift, so I get plenty of time to think. I'm going to look around your store. Looks pretty dark down there. I can't see anything there, but it's pretty stinky. Not sure why, but okay. Seems like a waste of a good dime. Hmm. I haven't seen Reyes for a while. Wonder what happened to him. of super absorbent paper on this roll.
An arm extended in friendship or supplication? Huh. Hard to tell. Certainly looks fake. It's a dime, but it's now pretty slimy. It's a dime, but it's now pretty slimy. It's a dime, but it's now pretty slimy. Looks like someone knew I was gonna get stuck down here. Unless... My kidnapper wrote that as a trap. Only one way to find out, I guess. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. It's a payphone. Insert dime to make a call. Help! I'm trapped in the sewer. Please call the authorities and let them know. You'll notify someone? Thanks. I got an emergency call about someone being locked in the sewer. <laughs> I should have expected, Reno, it was you. I don't like being interrupted when wrestling is on. Oh, hello, Sheriff. Am I glad to see you? 
This case doesn't seem like something the feds would be interested in, hmm? Now you should head back to the home office of Reno before you get hurt. There is a killer on the loose. Good advice, Sheriff, but can you get me out of here? Sure, just follow me. Oh, I will need to blindfold you. Uh, nothing about this town surprises me anymore. Oh, there's a bus leaving in a few hours. I think we can handle the investigation from here, Areno. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? How can I help you? I'm Junior Special Agent Reyes. Uh, I'm not holding if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> Tell me a bit about yourself, Leonard. Dude, how do you know my name? Are you, like, telepathic or something? No. You just told me your name, and it's also on your name tag. Ugh, these flickering lights are going to drive me insane. <laughs> yeah, it's a trip, isn't it? Oh, they're even better if you get a little toked up and... Uh, <laughs> I mean, yes, officer, I'll get those fixed right away. I'm going to look around your store. I found this bottle. I'd like five cents back for cleaning up the environment. Well, I'd like five cents from you for taking your bottle. <laughs> Just kidding. Quickie pal humor. Here you go. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card, possibly a key card from a hotel. That worked. I have a blood sample.
It's working. The paper is drying out. Oh, my notebook. I thought I'd lost that for good. These means a lot to me. Thanks. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Nickel. Eight years of experience and two degrees in journalism tells me you're a Fed. We're here investigating the murder. Know anything? Not much. Just what I heard over the police scanner. Body found in the river. I'll send my best reporter to check it out in the morning. Know who my best reporter is? If this damn town wasn't such a podunk, I'd have a couple of Pulitzers by now. What's the deal with your sheriff? Seems kind of odd arena. He is an oddball, but eh, so is everyone around here. And it's only gotten worse since Chuck died. Chuck Edmund? Chuck Edmund, the pillow magnet. He pretty much ran this town since the 50s and owns the giant pillow factory. Well, owned. He died a few days ago. His niece Dolores and her sister Lenore stand to inherit a fortune if they'll just stop fighting. What else do you know about Chuck? He started the pillow factory with his brother Franklin in the late 30s to make pillows for the war effort. Pillows win wars was their slogan. The factory and Chuck were the center of the thimbleweed social scene of the 50s. Go on. Chuck invested millions in automation and became an expert in AI. Aardvark insemination? Artificial intelligence. Uh, computers that can think. He started automating the whole town. People tell me it was like living in the future. That's one of his machines over there. The Copytron 3000. Then... What? The big pillow factory fire happened and killed several workers, and the whole place was shut down. Many blamed the fire on over-automation and computer error. But I think Chuck manipulated the sheriff, and it was blamed on the security guard on duty at the time. But it was too late. Chuck was disgraced, and the factory's been closed for years. A dark shell of abandoned machinery. What do you know about the pillow factory security guard? Not much. He died in the fire and was blamed for the whole thing. But I have my doubts. I just need some evidence. And I can finish my big story and expose the whole thing. Nice chatting. Got a murder to solve.
Can I help you? Nice chatting. Got a murder to solve. Please don't mess with the police scanner. I'm waiting for a call about a woman out by the circus being noisy. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. Attention all units. It's not much, but we're short a story on page four. I'll be back soon. It's a map of the tri Thimbleweed Park County area. What a nice copy. And in color, too. It's a map of the tri Thimbleweed Park County area. Thimbleweed Park Guided Tours? Hey, buy me a drink? You got any gluten-free donuts? Official government business only. Well, take a look at this batch. Let me see that. Ah, oh, you work for the government, too. Uh, okay, go easy on the tape. We're almost out. Yeah, well, since you're with the government, I guess you're entitled to some tape. Just go easy on it. We're almost out.
I can't reach that. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm afraid I don't have any spare change, miss. I'm a federal agent. Show some respect, or I'll have you booked for solicitation. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm not a hooker. I'm Lenore Edmund Mulch, of the famed Pillowtronics Edmund family, and I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive on the bus. So I suggest you treat me with a little more respect. Tell me about Pillowtronics. Pillowtronics was the brainchild of my uncle, the great entrepreneur and genius inventor, Chuck Edmund. The Edmonds made this town great when we opened the Pillow Factory. My family, even my stupid little sister Dolores, might as well be royalty as far as Thimbleweed Park is concerned, sweetie. So if you aren't turning tricks, what are you doing dressed like that? If you must know, I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive so we can go to the will reading. And FYI, grief is no excuse to look like garbage. Then what's your excuse? Tell me more about Chuck. Uncle Chuck was powerful, rich, and surrounded himself with beautiful things. He's everything I aspire to be, sweetie. Without his inventions and money, we'd still be chicken farmers instead of society's elite. You want to be like your uncle? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I even named my son Chucky after his great uncle. So deep was our connection. I'm sure that will be reflected in the will. Things will change around here when I take control of the Edmund family fortune. Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, sweetie. Yes, yes, yes. So glad someone is finally getting rid of it. But one does hear things, and I do have an inkling of who might be connected to this nasty business. Tell me who you think is connected to the body. Well, I hate to cast aspersions, but I suppose it is for the good of the town. Tell me what you know. Actually... No, I can't do this. The Edmund reputation is at stake. Spill the beans, trust fund Barbie. Fine, it was my sister Dolores. She abandoned our family and the business to become a... A hooker, like her sister? No, 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 no. It was far worse. She became... A video game developer. It all started a few years back. Oh, 
she only wanted one thing. To be a game designer for that awful game company. Mucus phlegm. Uncle Chuck wanted something else for her, but no. She was too selfish. Only wanted to make stupid adventure games. I've got to get out of this town. Uncle Chuck wants me to program his factory computers, but I just want to design games. I wish I could get a job at a company like Mucus Phlegm Games. Now the only thing I have to look forward to is my favorite computer magazine. In fact, I should check the mailbox and see if it's arrived yet. I should check the mailbox for my computer magazine. Hi there, George. I was just about to check the mail. Great timing! You still around, Dolores? Thought you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. Yes, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. That's not gonna make your Uncle Chuck happy. He'll just have to deal with it. What brings you all the way out here? I have your special magazine here. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank you. Sure, it's what we dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. It's a gas can. Don't get your hopes up, though. It's Bite Me World, the best computer magazine ever. Wow! An ad for a job at Mucus Phlegm Games, my favorite game company. I hear they make... It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64, with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast... Twi I'm dialing the Mucus Phlegm modem number. It's connecting. I can't believe my computer is connected to Mucus Phlegm. Welcome to the new online Mucus Phlegm job application program. Just fill out your personal information and answer a few simple Mucus programming questions. Then print out the application and send it to Mucus Phlegm. We'll get back to you in exactly five days. What is your name? Thank you. What is your address?
Noted. Next, what's your programming language of choice? The language you are most proficient in. Interesting choice. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question, how many actors can be displayed at one time? It'd be better to find some reference book on mucus before I answer these. I need to go find a book about mucus programming. again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, but I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores. Here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Punishable by a $50,000 fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. Okay, back to my vitally important government job. This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 Library Filing Lookup System. It uses the Spewy Decimal System to catalog books. This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 Library Filing Lookup System. Hmm, it says there's a book on mucus here. It's in section 3.1. It says, out of order. No one will miss this out of order sign. The out of order sign is gone, so it's obviously fixed. Haven't been up here for a long time.
There's nothing inside. 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 There's nothing inside except an empty glass. It's an empty glass. The glass is now filled with water. What a mess. Someone could cut themselves on those bottles. Carefully handling broken glass. It's a can of non-trademark infringing poopsie. Pretty wilted. Who knows how long this has been in here. Flask of Extreme Chili Sauce by Brian H.J. Comes with a warning. You might breathe fire. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. As expected, the post office's poorly programmed auto stamp cancellation machine has failed again. Amateurs. Flask of Extreme Chili Sauce by Brian H.J. Comes with a warning. You might breathe fire. Maybe I should be careful with this. Great. Now I'm carrying around a handful of black soot. Franklin, you idiot! I'm just trying to, you know, help. Is that yelling? Don't gag me. I hope my dad and Uncle Chuck aren't fighting again. And since most of the machinery at the pillow factory is lying fallow, I've come up with this, you know, great plan to repurpose them. We can use them to make, you know, plush toys. Franklin, you idiot! The company is Pillowtronics, not stupid plush toytronics. We make pillows! What do you think that would do to our credibility, our reputation? O okay, Chuck, you're right, but um, I was up all night working on the business plan. Maybe uh, you could just, you know, look at it? No, no, no! It's a pillow factory! Are you two fighting again? I'm getting so sick of this. You're brothers. Take a chill pill. You started the pillow factory together. 
Won't you ever stop fighting about it? Nothing you need to worry about, Dolores. Uh, right, Franklin, old brother? Ah, yes. You know, your uncle and I were just, uh, you know, talking business. I have some work to do. Dolores, can you get my .8mm point-tip soldering iron? You know, Uncle Chuck, you should use a 2mm flat tip, and you never heat your solder hot enough. <laughs> That's my favorite niece. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory. I know you'll keep the Edmund pillow dream alive. It's an empty bottle of homemade printer ribbon ink. I see some black powder around the edges, and it smells awful. Warning, contents highly flammable. The ink bottle is now full of black fireplace soot. The ink bottle is now full of black ink. That should do it. The ribbon is now fully inked. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question, how many actors can be displayed at one time? be modified while debugging your program. Next question. How many room local variables are there? Next question. When a game ships, it is encrypted using...
Thank you for taking the Mucus Phlegm Programming Test. Congratulations, you passed the Mucus Phlegm Programming Test. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. I always like to watch this part. Now I just need to stamp the envelope. My letter to Mucus Phlegm is now stamped and ready to mail. in the front green. Mostly holes, but then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, ah, Dolores! Diggin! How exciting. I hope I get the job. Dolores, I have a letter for you. Oh! Good luck. See ya. Diggin'? Diggin'. It's a letter from Mucus Phlegm. Did I get the job? It's a letter from Mucus Phlegm. Did I get the job? Now that I'm in my room, I'm still so scared to open it. I need to get up my nerve. Come, okay, but if it's a no, that means I'm stuck in Thimbleweed Park. It's okay, but if it's a yes, what will become of Dad? Stuck here alone with Uncle... Okay, but... Okay, okay, I'm opening it. Yes! It's a job offer from Mucus Phlegm to be a game programmer. I'm so excited! Can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck. He'll be so proud. But first... Nothing left to open. I tossed the envelope. Nothing left to open. I tossed the envelope. Uncle Chuck! Uncle Chuck! Great news! Yes, Dolores, what is it? My dear future leader of Pillotronics? I, uh... Here, read this. Your what? You're giving up the opportunity to run Pillotronics to be a... Uh, to be a game programmer? Yes, that's what I've always wanted to do. Not run Pillotronics. I'm leaving on the first bus out of Thimbleweed Park. 
then, Dolores. You are out of my will. You're giving up over ten million dollars. That's twenty million in 2017 dollars. Just to pick an arbitrary date in the future. You are dead to me. Dolores broke Uncle Chuck's heart and started programming those murder simulators. Real life murder is the next logical step for her, sweetie. Stop her before she schemes her way into sweet Uncle Chuck's inheritance. Sure, we'll get right on that. I'm sure you have cats to feed, sweetie. Ciao. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. Whoa there, little agent of Reno. You can't just go bumbling around the county without a map. It's too easy to get lost. There is a killerino on the loose. I have an official map right here. Oh, I see. Well, uh, that looks uh, legit, Reno. Hmm. Odd. I thought I... Yeah, well, I guess the law is the law. I guess I'd better return all these maps to the quickie pal. I feel like we're getting close to cracking this case. The only thing you're getting close to cracking is my patience with you. Let's work together and I can get on with my... I mean, we can get out of this town as quickly as possible. Agreed.